Hi, this is Paul Edmonds at finishyoursong.com and today I want to have a look at routing the tracks within the template that we previously set up. We've now imported the song and we've got all the tracks set up so it's a question of just quickly going through and making sure everything's going to the right place so that we're ready to begin mixing. Previously we've set up our group channels so that they go into the stereo mix and also we've set up our two effects channels so that they also go into the stereo mix. The stereo mix then goes to the output stereo. What we're going to do now is look at routing the tracks. So we start over here with our, we'll just pick on the organ for the moment. What we've got here is the organ channel is picking up the stereo in and is then routing that to the stereo out. So we click on that to route it to the stereo mix channel. And we're also going to pick no bus on the input so that any sound that's at large in our system doesn't get through into our mix. If you want to do more than one track at once, you can simply highlight them. And then, like it says, if you hold down Shift and Alt, and then you click and drag. It's not a simple click, it's a click and drag. And again, Shift, Alt, click, no bus. And that's it. Just go through. Hit Shift to multiple select. Shift, Alt, no bus. Shift, Alt, group, bumps. Now, our overheads haven't changed no bus along with the rest of them. And that's because most of these are mono tracks, but the stereo tracks, but you have to reset differently. So that's just something to be aware of. So we'll go through now the guitars, we'll go through to the guitar group, shift, alt, etc. And that's it. Meanwhile, yep, it's Cubase 7. We've made the jump from Cubase 6.5 to Cubase 7, and from here on in, this is what I'll be using for the videos on Finish Your Song. As an aside, I just have to say I've been using Cubase 7 for about a month now, and I really do like the way uh, that the changes have been implemented. I think the mix console is a great step forward compared with the old mixer in Cubase 6.5. And one of the first things you see when you come into the new mix console arrangement is the racks at the top of the screen. And we're going to take a quick look at the routing rack. To open the racks up, you just single click on them and it drops down and gives you your options. As you can see, our channels are already assigned to the stereo mix. We've got the stereo mix going to the stereo out and our effects channels coming feeding into the stereo mix. So as before with Cubase 6.5 you just select your routing option by going to the input and it will show you where you can go. I'm going to put that to no bus and the stereo out will send the audio to the keyboards. You can select multiple tracks by clicking on them. Shift and click and again to route them it's shift alt and no bus there is another way to do it though so again shift alt and base and we've routed to the base but for these I'm going to do something different something that doesn't require me to have three fingers going at once so I've shift click and you can now use the Q link the quick link button in Cubase and the next thing you do will affect all the tracks that you've highlighted for as long as they're highlighted. Voila! A lot less contortion with the old fingers. So again click on the guitars, quick link them, no bus, guitars, voila! Moving on. Now then we'll come to here. Shift. Mm. 
no bus, the selected tracks remain quick linked. So you don't even have to unlink the quick link. It's the tracks that you've highlighted. Once you've got quick link enabled, any change you make on one will affect them all. It's a lot quicker than shift, alt, click and drag. That's it. Routing in Cubase 6.5, Cubase 7. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you again.